hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope your new year is off to a great start i am back with a cleaning video never done one of these on my channel but i love watching cleaning videos they're just super satisfying so i figured i'd incorporate a few in my fash at home series i know you guys are missing the fashion videos i do too but I'm just in a different space right now. I've been in my space for about a year and a half. So my focus has just been on decorating, renovating, and making this space me. So that's where just all of my focus has been going. But I promise you, I'll be back with the fashion videos soon. But it is the top of the year. So of course, we have to do our deep clean. Start with a clean, fresh space. Let me know if this was a tradition for you growing up. I know for us, we had to do all of our laundry. We had to make sure we had clean sheets. And just make sure that everything was fresh for the new year. It also brought in good luck. We also did black eyed peas, corn red, and all of that good stuff for the new year. Let me know what your tradition was growing up. So I've been filming this type of content for a minute, a little over a year. Not sure why I was so nervous to post. I think it's just the combination of my personal space being sacred not really wanting to open up that part of me to people because there are some unwanted opinions that come with that judgment um suggestions that you didn't ask for and i'm not sure why i cared so much about what people thought I think there's also an expectation for YouTubers to have these big homes to be deemed successful or appealing to your audience. And I even had that thought at one time. When we found this town home, I immediately said, it's not big enough, I want bigger. But why? To appease others or appease myself? Because honestly, when it comes to cleaning this thing, <laughs> I'll take where I'm at. But no, seriously, I want bigger in the future and that's fine. But right now, I'm happy where I'm at. So in 2023, we are canceling out all the noise from outside and especially the noise from within. But I did want to mention some of the things that I really love about our space. So when we moved in, we painted all the walls white except for the basement. And we did this just to have a clean slate. Um, now, when we moved in, the walls were like gray downstairs, which didn't look bad but i wanted a very bright and modern look because we don't get a lot of natural light in the living room so white was a must downstairs now down the line i probably will add some accent walls throughout the house and kind of add a little bit more color here and there but i really love the white it really does give it a modern look i also love that i added trim to my wall before the trim this wall was so boring so underwhelming and it just wasn't given so i got a little inspiration from pinterest and my good sis nadia y'all know she's the queen of trim it really really does elevate your space gives it a very clean look very modern elevated it just yeah it, this is it and I feel like I'm more of on the minimal side when it comes to decor so this just added that little bit of extra that it needed because I didn't know what to do with this wall I still feel like it needs a little something like I don't know should I put some sconce lights some pictures y'all give me some help on that I don't know what to put in some of those boxes so let me know what should I do but yeah the trim was a it was a must you need trim I want to do my entry, my stairwell, my master, but it's pricey, y'all. That's the only thing. Trim can get real pricey, but it's so worth it. I do also love certain aspects of the decor in my living room. Now, I did make some mistakes like not measuring. <laughs> that was my mistake. I just was trying to, of course, this was like during the pandemic too. So I didn't have a lot of options when we were buying furniture. But I saw this sectional in Macy's, loved it, did not measure it. And although it's very comfortable, it's just too big for the space. So I think this is going to end up in the basement. This is the Jamani two-piece uh, sectional from Macy's. I don't think it's available anymore, but if you can get your hands on it, it is a very comfortable sectional. I don't have a complaints about it. And I love that I can take the covers off and wash them because I do have a toddler. So I do wash them like once every other month um, just to keep them clean. But love, love this sectional. It's just a little bit too big for the space. So I feel like for my living room being not, that big i need a sofa and two chairs situation so i think eventually i will end up 
changing it up. I really lucked up and snagged this CB2 coffee table off Marketplace. Like I said, when we moved in 2020, I could not even find a coffee table online. So I had to rehab this table. It did come with a little bit of damage, but I just, I fixed it up, restained it, and it's cute. I really love the look of it. The only downside is that it does hold crumbs and dust because of the grooves in it. So this will probably end up in the basement too, but I really, really love the look of it. And I also wanted to share this fabric peel remover. This is a lifesaver if you have any type of upholstered furniture, especially your sofa. It takes the little lint balls away so easy. This is also good for your clothes too, but love it for my like pillows and stuff. As you can see, it just makes your fabric look brand freaking new. And this thing was like less than $20. You need it. I'll leave the link down below. A lot of my decor is definitely mix and match. Like I said, the sofa is from Macy's. I got some Ikea. That little side table is from Ikea. My coffee table, I mean, my, my dining table is from Overstock. I literally don't care if it's cute and decent quality. I will buy it. Um, I knew that I would change some pieces down the line because, you know, when you first move into place, you're just trying to fill it up. But I knew that I would add like, a little bit better quality pieces later down the line because I changed my mind a lot. Like I will literally redecorate three times in a year just because I'm just that extra. So I knew that um, eventually I, if I had to sell a piece, I would. And like I said, Marketplace is kind of that girl. Like you can look up on some really good stuff on there brand new too like sometimes people will buy furniture and then it just doesn't work in the space and they don't want really want to return it so they'll put it on marketplace so you get a lot of brand new furniture on there so definitely don't sleep on marketplace We also got to show a little love to good old Folex. At first I was like overhyped, but I literally got a wine stain off my carpet. Red wine at that. So yeah, Folex is really good. If you got some cream furniture, you need it. Go ahead and add it to the cart. I'll add the link below for that as well. Hello. <laughs> so Jace, how do I keep my chairs clean? Um, you work them down? Yes. So I find what works best is a microfiber towel. And for tough stains, I'll use Dawn and vinegar or I'll use Folex. Now, Whoa. when I was on the market for dining chairs, I didn't want cream. I really wanted like a taupe color, but I just couldn't find that option anywhere. So, hey, I got cream. It is a lot to clean, but it looks so good. So I don't regret it. And don't come for my tree. <laughs> this was a live tree. So once it gets old, it dries up and it just starts to look real sad. I also was taking some of the ornaments off. So it was looking a little bald. Also, the console table is kind of a catch-all right now. I don't really have a cohesive look right now. I'm still looking for like some cute decor pieces. I need like a tray and a more cohesive look. I did buy that vase recently, which I love. So I wanna build kind of on top of that with that look. Cause I feel like this picture is kind of tribal-esque and it, it, it makes a statement. So we wanna keep the table understated, but also keeping up with that picture. So yes, I am taking suggestions for what I should do with the console table. I also filmed a video on me staining my stairs because when we moved in, our stairs were actually carpet. So we ripped up the carpet and I stained them black. So if you want to see a video on that, leave a comment down below. As you guys can see, your girl is pretty self-sufficient. If I can DIY it, I will try before I'll hire somebody else. But it just kind of makes me proud walking around, seeing little bits and pieces of the house that I knew I had a hand in, and I love that for me. Mm -hmm. 
and here is the guest bathroom that I featured in my last video when I did the wallpaper adding those two accent walls with this paper just really really elevated the space and just made it so chic I love it like definitely my favorite project to date I still want to add trim on that big wall and maybe one art piece but I love it and this is what guests see when they come in my house so they also love it and they love the little soap dispenser it's just a nice little conversation piece I love it I really hope you guys enjoyed this clean with me. Your girl was tired, okay? <laughs> so I needed that glass of wine because this is just level one. I still got to do upstairs. The basement can wait. But <laughs> if you guys want to see more of this on my channel, be sure to comment down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one.